Hey, what's up? I'm Eric Surf 6. Welcome to Eric Meal Time. In today's episode, we're going to hit the supermarket and go for a hike, and then we're going to eat. Before we get started, we got to work up an appetite. Got a fork in the road. What do we do? We take the high road or the low road? Definitely the high road. Watch your head. Is there 91? Is there 92? Is there 93? Is there 94? Getting hungry. Haven't even broke a sweat yet. Okay, I'm done. Quit goofing around, let's get this meal started. What's on the menu? First thing on the menu is the tripod. Next up, we've got fried shrimp, oh yes. What is this, a bacon and corn something. This is today's bento. This is a crab croquet. Some kind of Danish, secret Danish here. And we're gonna relax with some jasmine tea. All right, it is lunchtime. Yes, that was a wonderful hike. Hope you enjoyed the little hiking scene. We're gonna start out with the bento. This is the healthiest thing I have for sure. This is a Connie cream koroke, yes, or crab and cream croquet. I remembered my chopsticks this time. I think last time I ate with tree sticks. So I chose this bento in particular because it's got this huge slab of cooked salmon. This is a giant piece of salmon by Japan standards for a bento. Yeah, this is enormous. Mmm. I'm gonna hold the skin at once. Oh, it is so rich. Oh, the salmon. Watch out for the bones. There's one bone. Oh, it's so good. Full of flavor. Salty, smoky. That was probably the best part of the whole meal right there. Let's hit the other items with some shoyu. I'm the most curious about this right here, this kani cream karaoke crab croquet. Oh, mm -mm -mm. so creamy. It's more like crab flavored. Yeah, not tasting a lot of crab in there. A lot of bentos have shiitake mushrooms in them. It's like a shumai, dumpling. Mmm, I have pork, minced pork. It's like some meatballs here. Are they chicken? That'd be beef. Pretty good. Kind of spicy. We have a bit of a salad here. Oh, it's very sweet. It's got a sesame dressing. Don't forget the rice, Eric. A little bit of scrambled egg. Mmm. A carrot. There's also a mini croquet that comes with the bento. I wonder what flavor this is. Potato and corn. Yeah. This is heavier, more meatier. It's show you flavored. The crab is much more creamy. You know, they're both good. I think I'll save the rice for later because I'm gonna have Thai red curry for dinner tonight. To drink, we've got jasmine tea. It says relax with jasmine tea. Oh, that's delicious. Tastes like dishwashing liquid. These are pretty good sized fried shrimps. I should have brought some mayonnaise to put on these, but that's okay, or some sauce. It'll be all right. Mmm. 
Oh, the breading's really good. For store bought, really good job on the breading. Mmm, crunchy, it's oily. Woo! Quite a bit of shrimp. The shrimp's good size. Tail or no tail? Let's go tail today. Crunchy. The next item, it says here on the package, corn, mayonnaise, and bacon. So a corn, mayonnaise, bacon roll. And this thing's really cute because, wait for it, because it's in the shape of a heart. <laughs> you know, the weight of my heart is with bacon and corn and mayonnaise, that's for sure. I think we're going to eat this like a sandwich. We'll just mush it together like this, go right in. <laughs> a lot of corn. So it's two big chunks of bacon that you saw. And then the rest is all corn and mayo. With some nutty seaweed flakes. It's okay. Meh. 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 We are down to the last two items. Which one is it gonna be? Well, this is the dessert right here. So it's gotta be this one. This is, this could be a dessert too. It's a Danish. Let me open it first. Let's see if you guys can guess what the filling is. Shaped like a rocket. It's gonna blast off right into my mouth. So the filling, can you guess what it is it's right here? These guys. This is a sweet potato Danish. That's what it is, sweet potatoes, not apples. It smells amazing, cinnamon. Oh, it's got sugar on top, sesame seeds. Okay, here we go, the sweet potato Danish rocket ship. Blast off. Psh into my mouth. Oh. Oh my. It's like the whole thing's candied. So sweet. The sweet potato's more like a, it's like a sweet potato paste is what they've done. They've smashed it. Oh, it's a sugar on it. It's delicious. It's like a donut. Oh, amazing. Six out of six. Forgot to bring napkins. No worries, we've got a tablecloth. And the last item right here, this is very special. I've been eating these things for a long time. These are a very special type of chocolate covered cookie. White chocolate over a chocolate cookie. There's a couple different types of these. Well, as always in Japan, it's a package inside a package. Let's see how they look. They've got little ships on them. There it is, chocolate squares and then a chocolate biscuit on the bottom. That's what it is. I've always been very fond of white chocolate. Mmm. Oh. White chocolate is very creamy. This is good chocolate for a dollar. And the biscuit's more like a brownie. Sweet, but it's got some crunch. Oh, it's good stuff. You guys wanna try? Go ahead, plenty left. Get in there, go on. I think the less often that you have chocolate, the better it tastes, for sure. So today's supermarket meal came from the Shimamura store, which is right down the street from where I live. They've got a pretty good selection of stuff. I like the little bakery that they've got inside there. They've also got a lot of good salad items, but I didn't buy any of those because I didn't want to carry them up here and then have everything get you know shuffled around. Salads aren't really good to travel with in a backpack. So now it is time to rate this meal. We're gonna have a sip of jasmine tea first. It doesn't taste like dishwashing liquid, no. It just looks like it and smells like it, but it's, it's good, it's pleasant. It is relaxing. So on my rating scale between one and six air kits today, let's see, wind it up. Today I think I'm gonna go 
five. I'm gonna give it a five star ranking. That's a gnome gnome. Yes, five out of six air cats. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And as always, I look forward to reading your comments. We will see you in the next one. Eric out. Hey, thanks for making it all the way to my end screen. So now what? Well, click around, watch a few more videos. How about checking out my Patreon account? Links are all right there on the screen. Cheers and beers, team. Get some.